Welcome back, Best Life family. We did it, finally. Oh my God, this has been such a headache, y'all. This has been such a headache. And if you take a look in the back, you can see that we're back to seven passenger van. So, guys, it was a mess, but we got it done. Before we go a little further into the video, listen, go ahead on and smash that like button. If you have not subscribed to PT Van Life, living my best life, go ahead on and subscribe to them, guys. What are you waiting for? It's totally worth it. It's free 99. All you got to do is subscribe, catch a video, smash that like button. It helps support the journey. It helps support what I'm trying to do here. And I appreciate that so very much. And without any further ado, it's just a new day, guys. And I'll be right back. Hey, happy Eclipse Day, everybody. How you guys doing, huh? Huh? Well, the eclipse is over here on this. And I did a live stream a little earlier. And um, during the eclipse, just for a few minutes to talk to some folks. So all those that kicked in, thank you. I appreciate you. So it's pretty much over now. So... As you can tell by the thumbnail, some things are going on. So if you haven't seen the live stream, this is new to you. So let's take it from the top, okay? First things first, go ahead and smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, Van Life to Black Pearl, a part-time van life, living my best life, guys. We got a situation. I had to take the whole van apart. And the reason is, um, here in the state of Massachusetts, every year we have uh, vehicle inspection. So, because the van is registered as a seven-passenger van, uh, to take the van to be inspected, they have to inspect it for a seven-passenger van. I mean, every seat that has a seat belt or airbag or anything attached to it, um, they have to test it and see if it passes inspection. So, all of those seats and stuff that's folded down in the floor, tucked away all nicely, needed to come up. That meant I had to take my no-bill build apart. So um, in the live, everything was still assembled, and I said I was going to need some help to uh, get all that out of here. I had to take the window guards down. Let me show you what's going on here. Yeah, guys, I had to take everything up out of here. <laughs> everything out of here and put it back to seven passenger mode, so... When I couldn't stuff in the trunk, I had to take upstairs. So all of my seats is up and all the coverings are off the windows. Just minor decorations. A few more things I gotta get out of here. Yeah, guys. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Every day has a new adventure. You get up in the morning expecting things to go one way. By the end of the day, sometimes they go another way. Sometimes they go the way you want. But whatever which way it goes, you got to be ready to rock and roll with it. So it is what it is, huh? So check this out. Let me explain to you guys, like, what's going on. They told me I had to put, get all the stuff out of my van and put my van back to the way it was. That's what they told me, so. In the state of Massachusetts, if your vehicle is registered as a passenger car, in order for it to pass inspection, it has to pass inspection for whatever inspection point that result in a passenger car, as well as any other vehicle. But we're talking about vans right now. We're talking about a seven-passenger Chrysler town and country. So once a year inspection in the state of Massachusetts, you take your vehicle to get inspection, inspect and they inspect everything, including the fact that it's a seven-passenger. 
So they're looking for seven seats. Seven seat belts. Functional. Middle, front, middle, and rear. So, if you take your van, after you have no bill build your van, everything detachable, to get it inspected, before you go, take everything out. Pull all your seats up. Let them know that all your seat belts are working properly. Okay? If you have side airbags, they're not hindered by anything. As well as your rear seats. So, that's what happened to me for the close of the day. It was not difficult. Matter of fact, it only took it just a few minutes. But the problem is, is I didn't want to take everything out of the storage locker. And I was going to reach out to my son. And he had to come from all the way across town. But guess what? My next door neighbor Steve showed up. <laughs> Steve was trapping, young man. So Steve helped me pull this, pull the, uh, the trunk. But everything is connected to it. Even the fold-down cooktop is all connected to the trunk. It's a one-piece deal. So we pulled it out of here, we got it upstairs, and we got it in the house. I just grabbed myself a piece of fish from the other day out the refrigerator, y'all. Yeah, it's still golden brown. Threw it in the microwave, put a little ketchup on it. Mm. It tastes good, but it don't never taste as good as when it first come out the frying pan. I don't care. All right, so you guys go back and check out my video. I did a road trip a few days ago. I self camp out in uh, Destiny USA Mall, which I thought was the largest mall in America, which I was told. But the person gave me the information, and I didn't bother researching it. I just took it for what it was. I know it's not. However, it is the second largest mall in America. So, kudos to those um, in the comment section that made me aware of that. Thank you very much. After researching it, you right. I stand corrected. I appreciate that. So, yeah, but and even with that, go back and look at the videos, man. The mall is amazing. They had it, all the, the stores and shops and gaming and um, the movie theater, comedy club, they had some of everything. It's just the whole atmosphere of the mall itself is amazing. You could spend a few days there. Now, before it transitioned from, Des from a Destiny USA Mall, it was called, uh, oh, man, I forgot what was the other name of it. But back then, this is all many years ago, I met Boss Lady about a block from that mall. The rest is history. <laughs> so, yeah. But I had a good time. So, walked the mall, did some videos, ate some food, um, got back to the van, got all settled in, looked around, everything looked all cool. I don't know, it's what, 11 o'clock? You know, so I finally get settled in, do a little video and whatnot, a little editing, and I fall on off and go to sleep. All of a sudden, boom, 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 the knock on the door, y'all. <laughs> Learning curve. I should have known. A mall that size, you know, the com brother in the comment section. A mall that size, you can expect it to have security because of the size of it alone. And um, I didn't even think of that. When I got in the van and I was eating, y'all, it had to be like two, three hundred cars right where I was at. I knew that the uh, where you shop for clothes, the first, the old part of the mall is closed, but the newer part stays open to like 2 in the morning. I'm like, okay. But it's a learning curve. Got a little knock. The, uh, what do you call them, the security, mall security guys. It wasn't just me. It was a couple of cars. It was about a couple of them on a little uh, scooter, and they were next to a few cars over there trying to figure them out. Some people wasn't in them. I guess they were still in the mall or whatever. They are trying to find out who is who. And it turned out well. It could have got really ugly, um, but it didn't. 
you know, and I'm grateful for that. So that's it. So listen, that's what it is. So I got everything all laid out. That box, Steve helped me get it upstairs. <laughs> it really isn't even all that heavy, but it's it's just a little bit cumbersome. We need two people, especially when you got to go up a flight. And all the rest of the stuff is tucked away. It is what it is. And this do so fast, you know. Now I get the opportunity, since everything is out of the way, I could really vacuum it really good tomorrow. Um, after I go get it inspected, vacuum it really, really good. I don't know, maybe get some new decorations, who knows? <laughs> but anyway, listen, just a little short video, let you guys know I'm still in the game. You guys um, have a happy Eclipse Day. And, um, hey, it's what it is. Sometimes we got to do what we got to do. State of Massachusetts, I don't know what they do in other states. But in this state, what your vehicle is registered as is what you're to present to the inspection station, okay, when it's time to get it inspected. And, uh, and don't forget to pay your excise tax, all right? That ain't got nothing to do with registration. That ain't got nothing to do with insurance. That ain't got nothing to do with any of the tickets that you got. That ain't got nothing to do with none of that. Every year, you got to pay that. Oh, here comes your bills. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay, so guys, it's like the next day after all of that went down yesterday. So I made it. I got up early this morning. I was the first one at the inspection station. He took me right in. It's the regular person we go to. A few minutes later, as you can see, we pass inspection. So it's just one more hurdle. This uh, The end of this month is my birthday, and I have to renew my driver's license that day. So all of the tickets and stuff I paid off those, not ticket, parking tickets, tolls. Tolls. When you want to be adventurous and strike out in your van, it just stopped recording for some reason. Anyway, when you want to be adventurous, and strike out in your van and go on all these wonderful journeys and sit for hours and uh, film and record and sit for more hours sitting out trying to put together a decent video, okay? It takes a lot to do a video. It just, some people can just, it just, it takes a lot. It takes a lot. And there is a price to pay. So besides your gas, and your tolls and whatever it costs you to spend while you're out there on them amazing journeys on top of the frustration guys it takes a lot so that's why i'm saying again guys if you're watching this video and you do not understand how much work it takes to put in to make a simple video like this it takes a lot of work that's why we ask you you don't have to become a channel member you don't have to send me you don't have to cash at me. I don't do none of that. All I ask is that you thumbs up the video. Watch it, the video. I know the commercials can be boring, but that's how we can get paid. So everybody's not financially set up to send somebody money every month or even a $5 bill here and here and there. But it's just a simple fact of smashing that like button, watching the video. Visit the comment section. That's a choice of yours. But, like, uh, please help a brother out. All right? So, it's a new day. Like I said, everything is set. I'm at work. It's going to be almost 70 degrees today. The day after the solar eclipse. So, let's see what happens at the end of the day. Um, 70 degrees. Wow. Yeah. Let's get back to van life cooking. I'll see you guys this afternoon when we get off. Okay? And to finish up the rest of this video. Yes, sir. It's 70 degrees out here, guys. Wow. Ah. This day wasn't all that bad. It was over pretty good. Like I said, we got the inspection done this morning. And uh, some black pearls ready to go. So. 
I was gonna go and vacuum <laughs> first, but I said no. I need to come down here to this lake on this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. It's so peaceful, and I gotta recharge my batteries. So this is where I come. Somebody said you always near water. Yeah, that's what we came for. Water. Come down and recharge my batteries. The ducks are over there making a ton of noise over by the van. So they were nesting over there in those bushes there. Let me spin around let you guys see what I'm talking about. Yeah, so I parked her on the other side of this little area right here, but I'm gonna turn this music down. I want you guys to hear this. There's hundreds of them in there. All nursing. You guys hear them? They're like everywhere in there. You can't see them. The protection of the bushes from predators is one of the reasons why they hide in here to keep the eggs safe. And of course, this beautiful lake. So that's why I had to come down here. You know, that's just so relaxing by itself. They have their own language. So, I got my little setup right here. <laughs> that ain't nothing much. Hold on. I'm gonna pull the chair out, a little table. Come on here and sit down by the shore. And listen to them waves. Yeah, just like that. Hey okay, guys, so this is a, a big my little spot here for couple hours sit here and relax and I uh, get like I said on the way to the house I got on and vacuum it out and get ready to set up the van build back to where it was before I don't know who knows you know who knows we'll see what happens <laughs> I would I would really love to have one of them van packer kits I would really love to have a van packer I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So listen, guys, you guys go ahead on and have yourself a great day. Again, don't forget to hit that like button. Please thumbs up the video. Okay, I'd appreciate it. And watch the commercials. You know, they help tape the little things that we get a chance to do, <laughs> you know. And um, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you so much. Uh, remember each and every one of you, again, finally, you are a star. And you shine so bright, live your very best life, guys. And have yourself a great day. It's 70 days here, 70 degrees here in beautiful New England. And we have to take advantage of it. Yesterday was the eclipse. Today's a bright, beautiful day. After darkness, it always comes light. So you guys have a great day until our next video. Shalom.